be controversial to the public or to Congress, but it's not controversial among scientific experts. Climate change is happening right now, and we pesky humans are driving it. <laughs> Hey everyone, Lacey Green here. Welcome to D News. Atop years and years of research, 100% of the most highly esteemed experts in the field have been telling us for a while that the consequences of climate change are real and need to be taken seriously. The higher concentration of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere is resulting in warmer temperatures, more drought, melting ice caps and rising sea levels, heavy rain and snow, heat waves, flash floods, and other extreme weather events. And as I mentioned in my Pope video, these changes affect the very young, the very old, the lesser able, and the poor of the world first. The forecast for 50 years out, if we stand by and do nothing, isn't pretty. And I like pretty things. So fortunately, there are steps that we can take to minimize our negative impacts on the environment. The problem is that most Americans just don't know what it looks like. A study done at the Climate Change Center at Yale found that most American teens and adults never learned basic climate change science in school. It's our generation, you know, you 20-somethings, that will be taking the brunt of climate change. And perhaps for that reason, or perhaps because people are starting to see the effects now, people People want to know what's up with global warming. Which is why I was super excited to hear that new federal science standards on climate change are on the way. The new curriculum for climate science is backed by the National Research Council, the National Science Teachers Association, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, 26 states who helped write the standards, and 15 more states who are on board to adopt them. So what this means is that the federal government is making a formal recommendation to the states on what students should be taught in school about climate change. So starting in elementary school, students in the states that choose to adopt the curriculum will begin to learn about how man-made climate change works, its effects, and how to stop it. So for instance, alongside the water cycle, kids will learn about the carbon cycle. By 2026, many high school grads will finish school with a good understanding of greenhouse gases, pollutants, energy, and sustainable living. Major textbook publishers have already begun working on incorporating this information for their 2014 textbooks. So this is huge, really huge. Climate science has been hotly politicized and dragged through the mud. And I'm a fan of things like science and science education, healthy planets and not dying in an earthquake or a hurricane. So this is really good news. Combating climate change will require all of us to work together and giving the next generation a basic understanding of the problem makes things a whole lot easier. Thanks for joining me for D News, everyone. Let me know your thoughts on the new climate change standards down below. And don't forget to hit up our Facebook for secret videos and more sciencey goodness. 